Hi friends. So today I'm excited to share you about the auto scaling group in cloud. So you know the elasticity in cloud, which means it can expand and it can contract automatically. That's why cloud is so popular because it made things so easy, especially AWS, right? So today I'm going to give a live demonstration or you know a working prototype of how this auto scaling or the elasticity works in cloud by using the publisher subscriber or the producer consumer model on live AWS environment. So first let's understand what is ASG, which means auto scaling. It has three components. First is the groups in which you will have a lot of compute resources, like a lot of uh, virtual VMs, which will be doing some tasks. And then you will have some set configuration and then scaling options so that if you, uh, for example, you have a website and then a lot of user comes in. So to address them, you would scale out, which means you will add like here in the diagram, you will add more compute power, more instances or virtual machines, which can handle the requests. Uh, and then once, uh, you know, there are less number of requests, it will scale in, which means the unnecessary or unutilized compute power will go away, which will help you to save money. So, you know, as uh, cloud promises, pay as you go. So the lesser you use and then lesser you have to pay, that's what uh, this is. So uh, I'm really excited. I have created a small project. I will show you that live in action in a bit here, but uh, let's understand uh, what are my scaling options. So you can scale based on the compute utilization. You can base manually. You can also base on schedule, for example, there are websites which are not being newspaper website. No one reads them by night. So for such websites, they can scale in, like they can get rid of the servers which are not utilized. However, in the morning time, they need a lot of servers to address the request of the readers or the viewers on that site. So it can scale up. Same thing uh, based on the demand, as I said, and also day and night, particular time, you can say scheduled. And then predictive, this is something new, which is machine learning. Uh, so machine will learn and predict when the uh, you know uh, maximum peak load comes based on that, uh, it will scale up and down. So here I'm on my AWS environment where I have ASG, which is auto scaling group. And it has a specific configuration, which we call it as launch configuration, uh, which is here. So whenever there is a need, more compute power is needed. This will uh, launch configuration will launch a new instance inside the auto scaling group, which is this one. This is my auto scaling group. Right now it has five instances. We can see that it has already touched its maximum capacity. Here, there is a maximum capacity, uh, which is happening. Now by how it is working, I'll tell you everything in detail, but first, let me show you this thing here. So here, uh, if I do cat and then here I have a send messages. So let me first show you what we are trying to achieve uh, through a graphical way. So this is what I have a send message.py. This is a Python script, which is generating a lot of messages and it is putting it inside a queue, which is SQS standard queue. Uh, and once the queue gets filled up, which means once the size of the queue goes above 500, then uh, it would trigger an alarm on AWS. Now what is happening is this is producer on the right hand side, this is consumer. So this will read the messages in the queue. But if messages are produced more than the capacity by which the reader can read, then it needs more power and to get the more power, that is where the auto scaling uh, kicks in. So uh, as soon as the SQS uh, um, uh, queries, uh, like the messages are lining up or queuing up more than 500, there would be a CloudWatch alarm, which would uh, add a trigger in the auto scaling. And that is how the scaling will happen. This is in nutshell, practically what we are trying to do here. So let me do first thing is I am uh, firing this. So I'll show you this script. Uh, there is nothing much. Uh, it's simple uh, Python script, which is using Boto. And then uh, uh, it is here, it is uh, 
setting up the lock configuration, then you are getting the SQS service by Boto. By the way, Boto 3 is AWS SDK for Python. And then uh, it is grabbing the Q URL. And as uh, simple as that, there is a, a UUID, unique ID, which gets generated as a message. And then it is getting posted in SQS, which is a, a simple queue service by AWS. And then this is the message body. And that is all with what it is doing. So let's try to run this. So you can mm -hmm. run Python just like uh, the shell script. If you have given this hash bank uh, and the Python interpreter there. So let's run this. Now you see there is a lot of messages which are, this is practical by the way, this everything is in action, which we are going to see now, right? So a uh, lot of messages are getting produced and they are getting pushed into the SQS. And then I have another instance, which is trying to read here. So this guy is, let me uh, close this and then let me tail minus F. receive message dot log. So this guy is receiving messages. So uh, uh, messages are getting queued up faster than uh, the way it is getting received. Because if you look at the script, I have put a timer in real real uh, circumstance also sometimes that could be the usually that could be the case. So we are going to look at this file. So this uh, similar, like uh, the header is almost same, the upper thing. Here we have an infinite loop, wherein this is trying to read the message from the queue. Maximum 10 messages are getting pulled up, but then I am making just to simulate that load is taking time to work up, uh, sleep of one second. So let me again do, and then it is logging uh, here, tail minus F receive message dot log. So this uh, will go and then it would start uh, emptying up the queue. Now let us look, this will give you good basic understanding is messages are getting created, they are getting queued up, they are getting pulled up from the queue by this. Once the message is, uh, uh, it cannot handle, it needs more compute power that is where our auto scaling policy will kick in. So a lot of things are happening here. First thing is CloudWatch. So if you will look here, this is our CloudWatch. So this is how the load is increasing and decreasing. Based on that, we have created the alarms. So let's look at the alarms. So if you would come here, scale out alarm, which means more compute power is needed now. Why? Because I am generating a lot of messages here. So that is why scale out alarm is in trigger. We also have another, which is a scale in. Scale in now, let us see what is scale out and scale in configuration of the CloudWatch looks like. So this, uh, this the action here, scale out, and then what uh, uh, every one minute it would read, look at the messages. And if the number of the messages is more than 500, uh, that is where it will uh, trigger the alarm. So I'll show you that as well. Here, if you would go, you will see this number is greater than 500. That is where this uh, thing will uh, start scaling out. And then scale is in just opposite of that. Now, what we did here is in EC2, if you will go in the EC2, uh, we have something which is called as auto scaling group ASG. So let us go to ASG. Yeah, here. So ASG, uh, this is our ASG. Now what I did here, let me also uh, show you the EC2 dashboard here. So right now we have uh, everything running in the full capacity. So because uh, let us kill this now. So what will happen is as soon as it would get killed, uh, the uh, instance would uh, start uh, scaling in, which means uh, now less messages are getting uh, produced. And then uh, that is how it will start 
uh, dropping the unutilized resources after a while. Uh, now, yes, coming back here, what I was saying here is let us also see SQS first. So we also have SQS wherein we have implemented the queue. I'll also show you the queue. This is our messaging queue. And then there are 7,000 messages which are available. And then uh, 27 are in flight. So they'll take a little while. Meanwhile, uh, the receiver will come uh, to uh, scale in, like in the scale in process. So this is uh, uh, what is happening here inside this queue. You could also see if there is something you can always monitor here. This would show up the graphical representation uh, that how the messages as you added more messages, it went up. And this number of empty uh, receives and a lot of other uh, graph uh, graphical representation. Anyways, coming back. So that is where our scaling uh, uh, scaling capabilities were getting triggered in. Uh, how they were getting triggered in was whenever the message was exceeding, it needed more computing power. It added instances. And then whenever it was not required, it uh, removed those instances. So uh, that is what, uh, what uh, that was my small application with the demo which used auto scaling groups, which used AMIs, which used um, uh, SQS and also SNS, which is uh, notifications. So basically what happened is the notification is being sent out whenever there is an event of uh, uh, filling up the queue. And that is where based on that cloud alarm, we are also triggering the uh, auto scaling group. So thanks for watching. If you have any question, please let me know. My name is Prem Asimdhan. I'm, I am a certified cloud architect. For more videos and information on cloud or any technological videos, please follow me on my YouTube channel. Bye.